Sunny. Welcome. So the figure that I'd love to isolate today is a forward lock in International Standard Quick Step. So a bronze figure, uh, usable both socially and competitively. I want to cover the leads part in the first half of the video. I'll cover the follows part in the second half of the video. We'll cover the basic footwork and the most common mistakes and simple fixes to help this figure look and feel better for you. Okay, so leads, let's talk about our part. I'm gonna to come towards the camera and I'll show a number of different angles. So if you miss it the first time, don't worry, I'll cover it again. So for you, a forward lock is toe flat heel on our right heel. Forward on the left toe. Hook behind on the right toe and forward on the left toe. And whatever comes next is probably going to be a heel going forward outside of partner, so with turnout on the right heel for whatever comes next. Could be any number of things, natural turn, spin turn, etc. Okay, now I'm gonna go down a line and dance away from you so we can see from another angle. Our footwork for man. Forward, forward, small foot behind, and forward. And then our next step will be toe flat heel into something. Okay, now I'm gonna go down line and dance this way. to outside. Okay. Now I'm going to go down line of dance going this way. We have our heel, toe, 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 flat, heel. Okay. So leads, let's talk about some common mistakes and fixes. Number one, we don't want parallel feet in this figure. So I'll show that coming at you. Here's bad. One, two, and you see how the feet are going the same way? Three. What we do want is turn out with an action to lead the lock. That would look like this. One, to, I'll, I'll exaggerate for the sake of example, and. So the feet are going two different ways. They won't be this extreme, but they're definitely not parallel. That back foot needs to turn to your partner, so your partner feels that closed hip forward. So it's the hooking action we need to emphasize turning the feet away. So if you're leading a chasse, the feet are going the same way. If you're leading a lock, I want to turn out with that back foot. Okay, I'll show from another angle. Slow, quick, and slow. Slow into something, okay? Now I'll count that in numbers. Though quick step does cross phrases, um, it's better to count in quicks and slows, but if you're mathematically minded, I'll give you numbers for that. One, two, and three, four, into something. Uh, next up, leads. Make sure not to drop to a flat when you're doing that lock, okay? When you drop to a flat, it's gonna suck your hips away. So good feet, good feet, not so good feet. We are gonna drop to a flat just when we pass the feet, transition to your next figure, but not in the middle of the figure, okay? So it's gonna look like this. Heel, toe, Heels are off the ground. Heels are off the ground. Heels are off the ground. Don't sneak a heel there. That's another common mistake. And then it drops to a flat when the feet pass. Okay. Super helpful lead for her. Okay, leads, let's talk about our head position. Many of us stare at our partner something like this. One, is she locking? I guess she locked. And then you head back to your navigation. This is poor floor craft. It's not going to telegraph to the other leads where you're going. 
So this whole time in this forward lock, don't look at her, she's doing her, you just do you. Look where you're going, look where you're going, look where you're going, look where you're going. In this case, I'll hit diagonal wall. I could continue down line with another forward lock, in which case I would look down line, but at no point am I gonna look at my girl. There's no figure that drives that way after this. Okay, I'll show that from another angle so you can see that man's head position. This will be very useful for you. Look where you're going, where you're going, where you're going, where you're going, and where you're going. Okay, ladies, let's cover our footwork. So the figures are named after what the lead does. So when he does a forward lock, I actually lock backwards. That looks like this. For lady, I'm going back on the top outside edge of my left foot. I'm going to step back on the right inside edge of my right foot. I'm going to hit the front with that left toe and back on the right toe. And as lady, I'm going to assume whatever going following this is going to be some sort of natural turning figure. So I'm going to turn in on my left foot and I'm just going to wait on my right leg for the signal for what step's coming next. I'll show that from another angle, ladies. So, I'm backing line of dance, I'm going back, back, hook in front, back, and I'm patiently waiting to receive a lead. Something's probably going to go this way. Okay, now I'll show, coming at you ladies, this is our new line of dance. Step, step, hook, step, and be patient. Okay, so let me show going line dance this way, ladies. I have a left side lead and pressing up, very aggressive forward connection up underneath my partner's ribs with my ribs. So I'm pressing to him, even though I'm going backward. Pressing to him, pressing to him, to him, to him. So ladies, uh, a helpful hint to help you be lighter at all times. A little cheat I use when I'm going backwards, I'm always gonna press forward with these ribs. We never want to pull onto the back foot or drive early or pull away from him. If there's gapping when you go backwards, it's definitely your problem, not his. So, I, to help make a nice top line and be a light follow, I'm actually gonna shove slightly forward this depends on the partnership. Um, could be as little as a pound, could be as much as 10 pounds, depends on how much pressure, how much shape you want. You can use that pressure to shape. But at no point do I want zero pressure or a gap. So maybe try practicing with a sheet of paper between you, doing this step, isolate it, and don't let that paper drop. That'll be a nice um, trick to improve your standing leg action. So I'm thinking here, ribs forward to him, forward to him, even though I'm moving backwards, I'm pressing into him, I'm pressing into him, I'm pressing into him. Okay, hey, that'll make you nice and light in his arm. Okay, next request. I don't want to try and shape with the head, okay? I'm just going to leave the head behind. That would look like this. Head behind, head behind, head behind, head behind, head behind. So my head, ladies, is always left of my butt. If you try to shape it with the neck, it's going to look a little cattywampus and be heavy in his arm. So I don't want to shape it back. I don't want to shape it to the side. I want it to be in a straight line with my spine. I'll show that heading this way. Long, quick, and slow. So the head is here, not here, and not that was a good angle to see. I'll show one more time this way. The lock, quick, and slow, and patience, okay? Uh, ladies, the most common uh, question I get in this figure is how do I know if he's doing a lock versus a chasse? And so there's a number of different things we use to read the partner's leads. We use timing. 
and we use rise and fall, heels and toes, a CBM as he leading outside of partner, inside of partner, rise and fall. In this case, um, I am making firstly an educated guess based on it's going this way, so it's probably a chasse to right or a back walk. What differentiates this from the chasse is I feel a flick in his body when he turns out the foot. So here, pump, pump. I'll say pump, pump when that magic movement happens again. Slow, pump, pump, pump. Another difference between feeling the lead for a lock versus a chasse um, and closing the feet, locking the feet is there's less rise in that lock step. So he should stay lower, and that'll encourage your feet to pass. So low, 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 instead of a metronomic swing going out, okay? Um, ladies, let me show going line of dance. rise and fall and he's staying low in there, you're going to be tempted to lower the elbows when you feel that low. So regardless of how low, low, low he and I are in the knees, I'm going to keep my leg, my elbows up high. I'll show this way. Low, but high, 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 high in the elbows. And I'm going to lift this left side long. Generally speaking, we're not going to dip anything unless you're doing a, a tipsy or something. Um, in quick step, we're going to keep those sides long and longer as opposed to low. Okay, whereas we're going to stay very low in the legs, that'll maximize your flight. Um, and ladies, we're going to look uh, talk about our head position for a second. Um, and I'll come this way should be easiest. I'm going to look outside my hand, outside my hand, outside my hand. So I'm not going to look inside the hands. I'm going to look outside to the left. Okay. I'll show that going this way. Slow. Looking outside the hand, instead of inside. Okay. Um, okay. In closing, um, a... Uh, I'll just show basics coming in and out of this. Um, so that would look like this. Basic. And basic. Here we go. Here's our lock. Slow. Quick and slow. And back to uh, basics. Okay. Now I'll show that um, going down line of dance coming out your leads. And basic. And basics. Professor shall say quarter turn to right and quick and slow and basics okay ladies I'll show that for you really quick enjoyed that please subscribe to my youtube channel if you have any questions shoot me a line and um, if you'd like to see any other topics in future youtube videos just ask me and i'll make sure to post those thanks so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you soon bye guys